Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for February 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy. I'm going to pull a few overarching cards and then I'm going to pull three tarot cards. So what do we have please Angel Spirits Guides for Sagittarius? What is the message Spirit needs Sagittarius to hear for February 2021 please? And remember these are just messages. So message for Sagittarius, thank you. Oh nice. <laughs> Reach for the stars. Aim higher. <laughs> it definitely feels like more is available to you. Okay, interesting. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. February 2021. Thank you. It's interesting because I'm getting reach for the stars and then I'm getting ground yourself. <laughs> we have been distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. I feel one links to the other here. Okay, what do we have? For Sagittarius, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Sagittarius. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So I have number 14, energy signature. The past is in the present. Interesting energy there. And we have number 10, Cosmic Ancestors, voice your concerns. And it's to angel spirits, guides. It can also be to ancestors who have gone before you. You know, it feels for some of you, you're being watched over here, guided, illuminated. There's something to do with the past is in the present here that there is needing some help on. Maybe feeling you a little bit ungrounded, feeling a little bit ungrounded. And there is now a time to focus on new hopes, new dreams because more is available to you. Okay. So I have the Raven, prepare for change. Archangels Ezreal and Bokpi. Okay, could be if you do go for something now. So let's pull three cards, Sagittarius. The first card is the message from spirit. Second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is the action or final advice. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel spirits, guys, what's the message from spirit that Sagittarius needs to hear? Thank you. Thank you. I have the Three of Cups. That is the message from Spirit. Lovely. Three of Wands is what this pertains to, which is very nice. And we have the Seven of Swords as a final message for you, for you Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> I love this energy. You're being told to go for something now. If you see, if you think something is out of your reach, beyond your reach, um, this is where the ground yourself, you know, have a reality check. You know, it feels in this kind of energy. Something that you think is out of your reach is available to you now. It feels really good. Something that you might just dismiss because you're thinking, I don't think I can, I can get that or I don't think that's for me or uh, maybe I shouldn't do this right now because it might not be, you know. It feels like something 
there's more available to you aim higher i'm definitely getting this energy of aiming higher or going for what you want now don't let anything hold you back because the three of cups is a card of celebration reasons to celebrate you know and the three i'm, I'm getting a lot of threes in this reading three three um there is definitely this energy sagittarius of there's some reasons to celebrate here uh, very, I mean, it can be with uh, friends, family. Um, it's a real card of celebration, joy, happiness. So it, it feels in this energy, ground yourself. And the earth energy is all about um, our focus, our patience, our practical skills, our knowledge. You know, it's, it's the practical things that we do. Um, our core self, you know, how we find our foundation roots upon which to bring growth into our lives and use our practical resources and focus and, and efforts to bring growth in whatever situation. I mean, I see that tree there, you know, there's definitely growth here. Uh, when you ground yourself, when you actually look at the facts of the situation, look at what you're capable of, it feels like something that feels out of reach is available to you. Your ancestors are definitely illuminating you here. That is definitely an energy. And energy signature, the past is in the present. It might well be the past is holding you back. Or something. It's interesting because something to do with that past is in the present that I'm getting quite strongly. I'm trying to think how to put it into words because I'm definitely getting something there. The Seven of Swords uh, cannot, can actually be a card of doing things beneath the radar. You know, for example, if you're going for another job, it might well be you just need to act covertly, keep something to yourself. It is how you put a strategy in place towards achieving a goal. Now, yes, it can be, sometimes this can be thievery, this can be negative things. But it can also be, if you want to go for a job, it's, it's a kind of like self-protection energy of you need to do things covertly, you know, so that it doesn't scupper your current chances of where you are, you know. So there's a reason why you need to do something covertly now. Keep something to yourself. But, and I'm definitely getting this past is in the present. It might well be to do with, you have to be careful about how you approach this. You know, uh, don't let something in your current situation stop you from going for something now. And that's what I'm trying to get across here. This is about doing something, keep it to yourself. Um, see what happens but there's definitely an energy of going for something now because what this pertains to is what you've been waiting for i mean the three of wands can be a card of you've taken action you've been man you've been manifesting you've been wanting to bring growth into your life uh, this is the first signs of success coming your way something good is coming your way and you've been waiting for it you've seen the first signs of success you've been waiting for your actions to be rewarded something that you may have secretly or may be secretly going going for now and it will end in success there's definitely an energy of just keep things to yourself i definitely get that there's a reason here for you to just be covert about this sagittarius um because for some of you It, it just feels like this is about trust you and trust only you in this situation. You know, to keep something to yourself, just keep it to yourself and nobody else. And then see what happens. Wait to see what happens. And you can see as this person waits, waits to see if they're going to get the reward. They can see the good thing is coming their way. And it's going to result in a celebration, joy, happiness. And it's interesting because this can also be a communication energy where you might be telling other people about it, you know, uh, the actions that you've covertly been taking, but seeing if it's going to pay off. Well, it definitely will. So that's what you're being told to go for something now, reach for the stars. But keep 
It definitely feels like keep your own counsel this month. But nevertheless, the change is coming, most definitely. Love the energy. I mean, this is a card of growth, um, the beginnings of success, um, your ship's coming in, you know, it's that kind of energy. They're not quite there yet, but they're coming. And definitely because this is what this pertains to, the message from Spirit is there will be celebration. The, what you've been waiting for, it definitely feels like it's going to pay off. So I feel very, I feel it's a beautiful reading. I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Sagittarius, please. Final message for our lovely Sagittarians, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm laughing because the threes are about planting new seeds. The threes are all about manifesting. And we have go out and plant new life seeds. So for your future, number 23. <laughs> Very nice energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Sagittarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.